Well, let's get one more. Right on the rock. Oh, far out! Just steady forward, friend, like we said. Oh my gosh! Oh, this is huge, friend. Oh, he's close to the rock. He's close to the rock. Oh. No. Yeah, keep driving, friend. We're right. Oh. Holy shit! <laughs> keep driving. <laughs> Holy shit! Uh oh. <laughs> We've got to try to get this back in there. Oh, this is a shit show. All right. Whoa. All right, friend, you can just go steady now. Yeah, that's good. I'm just trying to get this reel back in. Far out. Oh. What was that beam, man? Oh. Holy shit. <laughs> that was absolutely crazy, man. I'll have to go over the top here. That's all right, just stay in neutral. Good job. Good job, good job, good job. This is a really big fish, eh? Holy shit. Oh, here he comes. Oh, yeah. Hello, mister. Come here, you big boy. Oh, he's only just hooked, eh? Yeah! <laughs> Holy shit! Look at him! Welcome to the Great Barrier Reef. In my opinion, the best place in the world. The water's clear and the fish are plentiful. Joined by a couple of mates, the plan is to jump in the water for a bit of a dive, check out some cool marine life, and then get stuck into a bit of spear fishing. I reckon the coral trout, like this one, are the best eating fish in the ocean, so they're always pretty high on our target list. When targeting the majority of the reef species here on the Great Barrier Reef, I like getting down to the bottom, getting on their level and then crawling along the bottom. Fish don't see you as much of a threat like this and that will generally give you a good chance to take a shot on them. Diving as a team up in the clear waters of the lagoon and Fran has spotted a couple of sets of big whiskers deep underneath this play coral. Collecting your 
seafood like this is the most selective and sustainable way to do it. There's no nets being trawled along the bottom, there's no bycatch, and you literally just choose what you want for dinner. We then moved to a slightly deeper section of the reef that was holding a heap of bait fish. This is a great sign we're looking for big pelagic fish. Fran wastes no time getting down there. But unfortunately my GoPro died at this stage and I missed most of the action of Fran's boogie board float getting dragged along the surface with her in tow. Wow, what a fish. A Spanish mackerel this size shot on a 90 centimetre gun is super, super impressive. hiding behind some coral in ambush and then making a bit of noise and seeing if you can attract the fish in. I find if you allow them to initiate the contact with you, you can actually get a lot closer than you would if you were just chasing them.
After a night under the stars, we were back up and at it. Keen to make the most of our last morning here on the island. Yes! Finally hooked one. Woo! Nice little trevally, I reckon. So I got up early for a bit of a, um, a flick this morning, casting this popper around. I'm just working it back towards the beach and Busca. A very aggressive little trevally's jumped on. Come on, buddy. Nice fish. That is actually a giant barracuda, but just a very small one, not a pike. Most of the fish this size that look like this are a pike, but this guy is a gnarly big barracuda that's gonna get huge. That's a cool catch. See this stingray just here? How cool is that? That stingray right in the shallows there. There you go. Yes. Good one. That was satisfying. And the bag. Grocery shopping for the morning. Perfect. Get all of it. Get it all up in you. <laughs> you like it? Yeah. Not bad. Now I have the other half. <laughs> Double whammy with the black web oysters here. Perfect. Unfortunately, our time on the island was about to come to an end, but as we headed back to the boat ramp, we noticed we'd missed the tide completely, and we had about an hour or two until there was enough water for us to get out. Anyone who's been following this adventure may remember that I've promised Fran one thing and haven't yet delivered. Just shows it's never quite too late, because this happened. Yes. <laughs> nice fish. He got Brucey. <laughs> he took Brucey, our best live mullet, but... <laughs> We had the last laugh. Sorry, Brucey, we got you. <laughs> <laughs> we got revenge, Brucey. Oh, that's such a good fish, friend. Nice one. Woo! What a shit show. Everything happens for a reason. <laughs> we got the reel. We missed the tides, boats full of camping gear. The reel broke. It's close to it. Oh. We thought we lost it, we had to hand line it. And then we eventually caught a barramundi. <laughs> that is awesome.